Today, <coughs> today I would like to show this game played in England between Oxtoby Scott, rated 1743, and Arkel Keefe, rated 2371. Arkel Keefe is a grandmaster. This game was a simul, uh, part of over 30 games. It was one of the games this grandmaster lost. Uh, and he says, uh, because he had a great precision, White was really precise in his moves, uh, like 98%, but obviously White didn't cheat. And uh, this is a testimony to the fact that uh, also amateurs are uh, really becoming great players. Okay, so the game starts with e4, c6, the Karo Khan, d4, d5, Knight c3, okay? Here we can see that uh, chess base, uh, the engine already put the strategic maneuver that white should follow in this opening. <laughs> and it's funny because, unfortunately, if uh, Grandmaster Arkel had this kind of uh, chess base 17, he could also see this uh, maneuver. So I do advise everyone to buy chess base 17 because it's a great program <laughs> so d takes e4 knight takes e4 knight d7 and knight g5 o honestly when someone play this kind of moves uh, i am already scared because obviously i don't know the theory of a karo khan but if one has watched one or two games by tal he knows that something is gonna happen on f7 and it's uh, really bad what happens on f7 okay knight gf6 bishop d3 knight b6 and uh, here um, try to stop or pause the video because uh, you should ask yourself uh, what would you play if you were black because knight b6 is not the right move okay so i hope you stop the video watch for a couple of seconds uh, and decided that the right move was e5 why e5 because it allows uh, the bishop on f8 to develop and eventually have uh, not the problems that uh, grandmaster arkel had in this game knight b6 queen e2 so this is the Karokan B17 as a classification. Bishop G4, Knight 1, F3, and also here uh, Black made a mistake. So we, we already have a kind of a two mistakes uh, in the opening. So they always tell us that to study the opening is not important. Well, it seems it is. Uh, because on move 6 we saw that knight b6 wasn't the right move, the right move was e5, and now we are at move 8, and uh, black plays e6, okay? And e6 is not the right move. Uh, once more, the good thing of just base 17 is that it shows me another thing. It tells me that h6 is wrong because knight f7, King takes f7, boom. So we start to see a theme that is uh, recurrent in this type of opening. And that's why, that's why one should have a chess base, because this is the problem. With chess base, you have a chance to see a lot of games with b17, and for sure this kind of maneuver would happen to be seen and one knows that there is a problem on f7, okay? So, um, what was the right move? You can stop, pause the video and try to find it out. I will tell you in a second. So, I give you the chance to pause the video. So, the right move to play in this case was bishop h5. Now, uh, notice uh, mm, red still has a kind of slight advantage, but is definitely, definitely better than what happened in the game that was horrible. Okay, uh, so, like I said, black played e6 instead of bishop h5, right move, and now you are white. What would you play 
as white. So pause the video and try to guess what would you play as white. Once more, I tell you, if you have seen a couple of games played by Tal, you actually will play the move without even thinking. Okay. <laughs> Knight takes f7. Amazing move. Amazing move found by a 1743 rated player during a Simon. And now white is clearly better, okay? How did white continue? Uh, how did black continue? Black played bishop takes f3, okay? Bishop takes f3. And obviously um, white took on a6. Probably by now the game, uh, if it was against another grandmaster, it would be over. But obviously, um, Arkel, uh, Gemma Arkel, Grandmaster Arkel, tried to continue to resist because you never know what happens. Maybe he was lucky. Maybe. Who knows? Queen e7. And the queen takes e7. Uh, it seems uh, this, uh, by the way, this is why you need to have chess base 17. Not because uh, they pay me. Uh, to tell you this thing because uh, luckily I have a job. Uh, you need to have chess base uh, 17 because guess what? It seems that in this same position, okay, in this position, in 1997, uh, in a uh, Vietnamese championship, women championship, okay, the championship of Vietnam, it was played knight d6. So I imagine this. Immediately, Chess Base was able to identify a predecessor to this game, thanks to probably Mega Base uh, 2024. I don't remember if I installed it. I have installed Mega Base 2023 because, again, it's a great database and it's amazing. I think uh, one could learn chess just using Mega Base 2023. It's amazing. Uh, with that said, King D8. Knight f7, king e8, knight d6, king d8, blah blah blah, and the game ended up in a draw in 1997 in a Vietnam championship played by women. But this is the novelty played today. Queen takes e7 by white, that is a player just rated 1743, and after bishop takes e7, knight takes h8. Uh, clearly uh, white as practically a final advantage, a decisive advantage. Uh, black continue with bishop e4, bishop takes e4, here uh, Fritz uh, 19 that I believe you I used to analyze this game because again I believe that chess base has a lot of integrated tools to make us uh, better players. Uh, at this point, uh, Fritz19 said uh, White has won the game for him. Obviously, for us that are not as good as Fritz19, yeah, maybe there is still uh, some play. Uh, but again, uh, this is uh, at this point is just to convert the material advantage into a win. Okay, so Castle uh, here, chess base still show this uh, beautiful idea of a strategic maneuver, ossia rook e1, and then go to e6, king f8, rook e1, knight f6, bishop g5, okay, and then uh, black continue with rook e8. Uh, here, obviously, Fritz19 uh, said, hey, look at uh, uh, rook d8 is a better defense. Maybe it is, maybe not. I think for human beings, uh, when they are losing, uh, it's difficult uh, to to be uh, objective and uh, hard and continue to fight, fight, fight. Okay. So rook e6, knight c8, uh, c8, and here there was uh, a um, inaccuracy by White that played bishop takes f6. Now, if you want, uh, you could pause the video and try to find a better move. Obviously, the better move is uh, uh, rook a e1, because you need to centralize the rooks, and obviously you really start to make a big pressure in there. Uh, 
Now Fritz 19 gives a big line that lasts up to move 29, which obviously it's impossible for a human being to actually see 11 moves ahead, especially in a middle game position. So I don't really think it's important to show it, but I show some moves so it gives an idea of what the engine generally think, okay? And this, okay. I'm sorry, I don't think a human would really play this stuff. So, bishop takes f6, uh, and what did black play? g takes f6, rook a1, a and now there is a mistake by uh, black. Black played uh, king g7, which is a mistake for Fritz uh, 19. Uh, he says there is another better move. If you want, you can pause the video, try to guess it. Otherwise, uh, the better move, I can tell you right away, is rook d8. Rook 1, e4, defending the pawn d4, rook d7, rook g4, and okay. I don't think we should continue, but th this is the interesting part. Uh, in this case, uh, um, Fritz 19 gave a line which wasn't which was long, but uh, at this point it was justified by this. At this point he says, uh, by this move, uh, still white has this uh, decisive advantage and he will win. Okay, so let's go back to the mistake, which honestly is a human mistake. Uh, why not going to g7 so you try to get that uh, knight this is a very natural human move, right? Okay, um, at this point, again, you need to find the right move for white. Okay, try to find the right move because this is a kind of interesting, I think. And the white player, rated only 1743, found it right away. And the move is c4. Amazing because he's giving up a knight, but in reality he was inactive and it was out of the game, so it wasn't really good. So to give up the knight for be creating a pass pawn, it's a kind of very smart choice, which shows that in fact a player rated 1743 can be a, an amazing strong player. Eh? Black took on h8, d5, c takes d5, c takes d5 and uh, obviously now here the threat is uh, uh, pawn d6 that wins the game no and so obviously uh, black played this but uh, also in this case he says uh, fritz 19 says that this was the only move to play which would have continued in this way um, yeah, uh, because uh, fritz knows how to convert in this kind of uh, Rook versus uh, Rook with Pawn. Uh, so this is the important thing, okay? In any case, um, after that move we have d6, okay? And also at this point uh, black is uh, losing. But it will just be a few more moves before he gives up for uh, good. Knight takes d6, rook takes d7, king g8, rook d1, king f8, rook e6, knight f7, tuck. And uh, here it's uh, over, okay? Uh, how could have continued the game? Here black resign, but the game could have continued with this, check, king f7, rook f And here obviously, uh, uh, white uh, has a huge advantage uh, and it's difficult uh, but he will not win. Uh, so the points uh, to take into consideration of this game is the fact that the opening is important uh, and the one needs to study mm, thanks to Chessbase 17 and the Megabase tw 2023 or 2024 one can actually see all the games played in a certain opening and acquire a kind of, um, uh, let's say, um, 
easiness uh, with the opening uh, to avoid uh, to have, uh, like in this case, a sacrifice on f7 that uh, black didn't even see coming. I wish everybody a good day and enjoy chess.